Good morning, friends, and happy Monday. Happy March. Seven days away from my birthday. My birthday is one week away. It is one week from today, actually. March 9th is my birthday. I will be 47. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's I love the month of March. March March not only is it my birthday month, um, but it's also just that like it feels like for me anyway, it feels like March is that month of transition from yucky cold winter, even though we still have our cold days or our in our colder nights um it just seems like the weather kind of starts changing in march i know at least for us it does here in georgia the weather starts to change it seems like it gets warmer and warmer and warmer as we go towards april 1st um flowers and trees start blooming and when the flowers and trees start blooming my arms and my legs start breaking out as well because I have allergic reactions to the like blooming trees and all that good stuff. Another thing that comes with March which is so um it's part of our uh changing of seasons here in Georgia is we call it pollen season and um everything starts to turn yellow towards the end of March, all through April, and seems like all through May, everything starts turning yellow because of all of the pollen. It is crazy about the pollen. But anyway, you guys, happy Monday, happy March. Um, I have so much going on uh, this month. Um, most of you guys know. Um, I'm gonna actually put my socks on. I feel like Mr. Rogers, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Won't you be mine? I'm putting on my socks. That's why I kind of felt like it was Mr. Rogers. <laughs> so anyway, um, we're, we're going to California next week. Um, amongst all of this crazy coronavirus scare and whatever is happening, um, we are headed to California next week. Um, next Monday, actually, we are going to a hotel right next door to the Atlanta airport. That way we don't have to wake up uh, and leave here at, say, 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning um, to get to the airport. Uh, we don't have to do that until, like, 5 o'clock next Tuesday morning. So that's great. Um, but yeah, we will be in California for the entire week of next week, starting Tuesday. Um, I'm going to Disneyland. I'm meeting my friend. Um, I am super excited about all of that. I'm super excited to share all that stuff with you guys as well. So I hope that you guys will stick around with me. Why does this look like it's just, it's cutting off my, my head here. Um, so today, today is my normal Monday. Today is what I like to call motivational Monday. There are two cute little birds outside on the bush in front of my window he they're so cute they're just sitting there i think they're they're probably looking to nest they are robins um and they're definitely looking to uh nest um it looks like it might turn uh pornographic here in just a few minutes so we are just going to go ahead and let them do their thing and we are going to go ahead and continue on with today <laughs> Uh, yeah, so today is Motivational Monday. Today is uh, the day that I start, um, I clean up around the house. I have got, they flew away. I um, put all my Valentine stuff away. So all that stuff is put away, thank goodness. And now it's basically just transitioning to um, springtime and Easter stuff. Um, but today I'm going to strip the sheets on my bed and I'm going to clean up the living room, clean up the kitchen and do a few other things. Brian was on a business trip Friday night into Saturday. He got home Saturday around 12 o'clock or so. And when he came home, it was just, it just kind of turned into a lazy weekend for us. His suitcase has been sitting in the foyer area since Saturday morning. I haven't touched it nor looked at it. I'm like, we just didn't, we just chilled this whole this whole weekend we chilled and really just did nothing um which you know which we can do if we want to we are 
<laughs> we are allowed to just be lazy if we want to, guys. Um, but that's why I didn't change my sheets. Yesterday, I normally change my sheets on Sundays, um, but I'm going to do all of that today and um, clean up and kind of get yourself motivated, get myself motivated to clean and get some stuff done around the house. And then um, also this week, I'm going to be packing for our trip and paying attention to the weather as well uh, in California because as of right now, it looks like it's going to have rain every single day, even though as the song goes, it never rains in California. It pours, it pours. <laughs> Um, but I, I'm going to be prepared. I'm going to have an umbrella with me, of course. I just, I, I'm just going to try to hope that it doesn't rain in California. I know some people in California probably want it to rain, but I don't want it to rain while I'm there enjoying my time. So if it could just like hold off a couple of days, that would be great. Um, but anyway, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started and, uh, yeah, let's get this day of motivation started. I am I'm full of energy today and I'm ready to get my house cleaned up and start packing and getting myself ready for our trip next week and getting my house prepped and prepared for our leave next week as well because as most of you guys know who have been following me for a while, I love to have my house clean before I leave on a trip because when I get home, I don't wanna have to focus on cleaning. Um, I just wanna focus on getting my laundry done that we dirtied up while I was gone and then focusing on um, like just the rest of the stuff because when I come home from our trip from California there's two major things that I want to get done and accomplish one being I want to put out my Easter decorations and my spring decorations even though this week I might try to pull some of that stuff out don't know yet but the other thing that I want to do is I'm gonna paint this bedroom. So I've decided on a color. I've decided on agreeable gray. That is something my mom and I were talking about this past weekend. She is wanting to repaint her bedroom as well and she just wasn't sure what color she wanted to use. So she's like, if you have any ideas, could you please tell me and share them with me? So I knew that agreeable gray is such a popular color right now. I think that um, Crystal Tara actually used agreeable gray, I think in her house and it looks amazing. And if I could hire her to come do my bedroom, I, um, I would. So, Hey, Crystal, if you're up for a travel, <laughs> uh, a travel job and painting, you want to come to Georgia and do my bedroom, I will pay you. <laughs> Anyway, so when I come back from uh, California, that is my plan is to paint this room and I kind of want to get like new curtains. Um, everything else is pretty much going to stay the same as far as decor goes. I just want to um, update my walls um, with my paint color and everything. So, and then I'm going to hire somebody to come paint our living room and foyer because those are like 16 foot ceilings I think I could be wrong they're not 12 I think they're 16 foot ceilings they're really really tall ceilings but anyway so yeah I'm gonna have to hire somebody to come do that for me as well um but yeah but that's my plan for when I come back so I'm looking forward to all of that and then my in-laws are coming in April. I'm leaving for Tennessee like the weekend. Like we get home on the 14th, the following weekend or that following Friday, which I think is the 20th. I'm leaving for Tennessee for like four days um, to celebrate you know, I have a lot on my plate and I want to get stuff done. Yeah. Um, uh, we're going to be celebrating my great niece Parker's first birthday. So that's going to be a very fun celebration. So yeah, March is going to be very, very busy. And knowing that I'm going to be gone for an entire week of that March of March, the entire week of this month, it's definitely going to cut my month short with things that I want to do and things that I want to get done. So Without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get started. And uh, yeah, let's let's start Monday, guys. What do you say? Come on. Let's... Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with my bedroom and get my bedroom and stuff made, my bed made up, sheets changed, and everything. Like I said, I normally change sheets on 
uh, Sundays right before the day starts, before the week starts. That way everything is nice and fresh. But Brian and I were kind of taking a little bit of a break and I just decided to be completely lazy this past weekend and... taking a quick break really quick because I've actually been on a break for the past like two hours I think ever since I cleaned the kitchen uh, my friend Kim called from Nashville and um, we were talking about stuff and then I got busy trying to figure out how I can create t-shirts for you guys to buy with my logo on it that says life and lemons on it so I have been working with custom ink to help me get a group order form together so you guys can actually go purchase t-shirts that have my logo on it oh my god i'm super excited about this so it's, it's kind of like a difficult situation basically um basically i put out a link on my uh, facebook page life and lemons so you can see it like right here so here is my like link and i'm gonna actually leave a link in the description box below so you guys can go purchase a t-shirt through that through that link as well if that's something that you want but i'm actually going to start off really really simple i have three different shirts that you can choose from two well three different shirts Gray and navy is going to be the shirts that I have coming out first and they're both all women's and then they're unisex So it's like you have a choice of women's and a unisex shirt and then a navy and gray So that's kind of how I do it. So I shouldn't say like three 
but those are just like three, the unisex and the women's, the gray and the navy. So that's how it is. So basically, um, what you do is you'll click on the link and you can go and you can place the order or whatever. And then I'll receive like an email that says, you know, so-and-so placed an order, which is great. Well, I have to have like a, like you have to have like a, a certain amount of t-shirts sold in order for you to kind of like meet your goal. So basically I just set it really, really small and I set it for like 10 shirts to sell. That is like my goal is to sell 10 shirts. And then if I sell more than 10, that's great as well. Perfect. Um, if I don't sell the 10 shirts, I can cancel the order or I have to pay the difference in the shirts that I didn't sell. And then if I cancel the order, then that means that y'all will receive your money back as well and nobody gets a shirt. But I'm hoping for like the sale of 10 shirts. So let's say I sell 10 shirts or more, which would be great. I do receive a percent of the sales from my shirts, which is awesome because this is like a goal that I've been wanting to like have. Um, also, um, I will, once I know that there's interest and there's traffic and y'all are interested in, in more merchandise or there's more stuff or whatever, I will actually have more options and colors available and I will have more items available. So like I can have like magnets, Tervis tumblers, which I would love to have a Tervis tumbler myself, but in order for us to do a Tervis tumbler, I have to have 50 as a goal and I don't know if I'll be able to sell 50 of those so oof. anyway um, that's maybe later on down the road but I can have more like t-shirt colors I can have like what I say magnets like a like bags like a canvas bag I can do um, there's just a, a sweatshirts long sleeve shirts like this you know you could have um, so there's many options out there that I can choose from and that I will love to share with you guys once I start reaching like smaller goals so once I say know that there's more interest and there's traffic in it then I can actually have a little bit more options for you guys to choose from and I'm sure like if you've already bought one shirt you probably don't want to buy another one I don't know you might you might want to have a white one you might want to have a navy blue one you might want to have a pink one or a black one um I'm just kind of sticking with some like neutral colors for now which is like popular gray and navy so that's kind of what I'm doing so with that being said, I'm actually very, very excited. But like I said, I've been kind of working on that this, this afternoon and I've gotten very, very excited about it. Very, very excited. So basically what they did too is because like, so here's the, um, this is like the Navy one, I think. So basically what they did with this one, I don't know, you guys can see there's a glare. Um, they, they changed the, can I lift this up? Can I like make this bigger? Oh gosh. Can I just, I don't think I can make it bigger or whatever. Anyway, they changed the um, the ears to white and they changed the airplane to white and I think they changed something else to white, which is great. Hold on a second. Okay, that was actually Custom Ink just calling me and they were actually, um, Zachary, he's fantastic and he's been working with me like for the past couple of hours trying to get this all set up. So basically what he said is he went back to his um, copyright management team and they basically said that they will have to take off the um, the ears. So that's okay, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. It's sad, but it sucks because I was like looking so forward to just being able to have the ears on there. But let me show you guys what they were talking about. So um, he changed them. Can I just, can I see it? Where'd they go? Um, retrieve a design. So here, let's see if I can pull this up and you guys can see a little bit closer. So right here is where they changed the ears. Can you guys see the ears? Oh, come on, focus, 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 focus. Let me see if I can get, there we go. See where the ears have been changed to that white? Okay, they have to um, remove those ears, which is fine. Um, because it, it, even though one is bigger than the other and it's not exactly like a Disney, um, emblem or anything like that you just they you can't so that's fine so that's okay not a problem so yeah i'm just i'm excited i'm excited nonetheless it's all going to work out just fine so 
and it's all going to be fine. So anywho, um, but yeah, I'm excited about it. So my link is on my Facebook page, um, life and lemons. It's also going to be in the description box below. And, uh, yeah. So if you guys want a t-shirt, go get it. Cause like I said, the more, um, sales that I have, um, the better and the more options I will be able to have to share with you guys later on in the future. Plus I will be able to have like magnets and bags and other shirts and sweatshirts and all kinds of stuff like that somebody did actually request like a tank top but i looked to see if they had tank tops available through custom ink and from what i can see they don't but if i have to call them and ask them about a tank top i will definitely do that if that's still like an interest to somebody but as far as i can see online they don't give you like the tank top option from what i can see anyway but um but yeah we're just gonna work slow and move slow and we'll go from there but i'm very very excited this is something that i wanted to do oh and i want to get like a coffee mug ah! Oh my gosh, how exciting is all that? So um, it's just something that I've been I've been wanting to do for quite some time, and I just kind of figured, you know what? I hit 7,000 subscribers. I definitely want to do something, and I know I have a lot of you out there that have said I would definitely buy your shirt. I would definitely wear it. So I, I actually ordered one myself. So I will be wearing it next week as well when it comes in. So crossing my fingers. Okay, now I'm gonna go get my family room swept up. Oh, actually, I wanna have some lunch because I'm actually hungry. It's already one o'clock, but I need to get my um, living room swept up as well. But anyway, yay, and I have laundry to fold. So, yay, I'm so excited. So, click on that link below and go buy yourself a shirt and support and represent Life and Lemons. Woo woo! <laughs>
and then uh yeah that'll be all done and then i think tomorrow i will probably dust and vacuum in here um because right now i need to go start folding some of those clothes and i also need to kind of get this video up and edited that way i have plenty of time to do all that um this afternoon so i'm gonna go ahead and finish sweeping this and then i'm gonna end the vlog so yeah it's been a great day um i've got a lot accomplished which is great it's always a a productive day when you get things done so i'm gonna go ahead and sweep and i'll see you guys tomorrow bye